CataractCoach.com. Chandelier lighting for cataract surgery. This view is nearly impossible, but retroillumination can help. Now, our guest surgeon here is Dr. Igor Arkhipov, and he is from Russia, and he's going to do this difficult case. Look at that anterior segment. Look at that cornea. What a minimal view and a very dense cataract. Let's show you the case here. So you can see there's not much of a view here. So first going in were they pars plana port. So getting the trocar in there, making an incision here at the limbus. Maybe that's the limbus. And then let's put some tripan blue dye in, stay in the lens capsule. And you can see this view is very difficult. By lighting the eye up normally from the front like we're doing here, or even using that inset light pipe, it's tough to really get a good view. But now look what happens. If we turn the lights off and just use the chandelier lighting, so we're lighting up in the vitreous cavity, wow, now you can actually get a pretty reasonable view. So the rest is being done in the right-hand microforceps, and the left hand is a light pipe. Now, our view on the video is a little bit blurred out, but he was able to get a nice, sufficient view to get a rexus done. Now, with chandelier lighting, so lighting up the vitreous cavity, he can do the hydrodissection, and then it's going to be time for nucleus removal. So this time, using the light pipe as the second instrument. So the light pipe lighting is one in the left hand through the paracentesis, plus you've got the chandelier lighting on the inside. So double lighting. You can just choose where you want to aim all that lighting, and you can get that cataract emulsified pretty easily. Now you can see this is mostly now just chandelier lighting, and the view is a whole lot better. So a little bit of the anterior segment lighting, but mostly chandelier lighting. And now going in with a bimanual IA. And again, what an impossible view. This is an incredibly challenging case. So Dr. Arkhipov here really has some incredible talent. This is a case that uh, I may have been tempted to do an open approach, maybe do an SICS approach instead to really get better access. But he's done a beautiful job here. Chandelier lighting. So again, you want to avoid that too much of the direct lighting on the cornea because if you do that, you're going to get reflections off all that corneal scarring and haze. It's going to make a very poor view. But by having the light inside the eye and the vitreous cavity, it's a lot easier. So that's that chandelier lighting being placed via the pars plana. And now cleaning up again, a little bit more cortex is left. And good job cleaning that up. And then that really will get the capsule bag inflated. And yes, there's going to be a lens. Now don't ask me about the lens calculations because I have no idea what you do here other than Let's make sure the patient ends up a bit myopic. Do not aim for Plano. So whatever you figured out of the axial length, that's easy enough. You could get an A scan done. But what are you doing with the K measurements? You may just be better off putting the patient up on a manual keratometer, just kind of getting a ballpark idea, figure. And then whatever K values you think you, you see, choose the lower of those, which will end up for your lens calcs with a higher IOL power. So definitely don't aim for Plano. Aim for at least a couple doppers of myopia. Myopia is a gift. It's a blessing. And so now, again, fill in the bag. Here comes the lens. A single piece acrylic lens that's going to be injected in the capsule bag. And, yeah, I've never seen a case like this. We're using chandelier lighting for such an incredibly difficult view. Um, if you're just doing anterior segment work. We had a previous case where the patient was having retina surgery at the same time and then also had chandelier lighting. You can look that up. And here you go. Lens goes in the capsule bag. Just like that, and we're going to finish up this case here. So I think the important lesson here is to think outside. Think think normal, outside the norm. What's a typical way of doing it? What could you do differently? And again, look at that light pipe in the left hand. How helpful is that to be able to get the light inside the eye? Because remember, the main barrier is that terrible cornea. And that cornea here with all that haze is causing a ton, ton of reflections. So when you try just do the regular lighting from the front like we do in our routine cataract cases, it gets a lot of glare. So by putting the light source in the eye with either a light pipe or with the chandelier lighting, chandelier lighting up the vitreous cavity, the light pipe lighting up the anterior segment, it makes it a lot easier. So now just by manual approach, again, chandelier lighting, it looks looking great. So an amazing result for this patient. Obviously, the patient has other issues here, a lot of other issues. But to get that brunescent cataract out of the eye made a world of difference for this patient. So the vision's markedly improved. Certainly not perfect, but a whole lot better. You can see, look how easy to see the edge of the lens with that chandelier lighting. Let's look at the post-op picture. There it is in the post-op period. 
pretty reasonable. And I don't have a final visual acuity for this patient, but I can assure you this post-op result is amazing considering what the pre-op starting point was. Thanks for watching.